so welcome back. I'm Sarah, and the next video is going to be a series. And what we're going to do is build a larger, go through the steps of creating a larger am, animal. Um, we're going to do a goat. So please review the previous episodes because you will get a little more detail in if you haven't built an armature um, the way that I do it, or um, if you're new to needle felting. If you watch the previous videos, um, you'll be a little bit caught up because I'm not going to go over in detail what I already did in those videos. Um, so we are going to start with um, two pieces of 14 gauge aluminum wire. I've cut these to size already. The size just depends on the size of animal you want to make. Um, this goat's about five inches at his withers, and these wires are about 18 and 20 inches long. So the ponies, donkeys, um, even pigs, the, any of these four-legged farm animals, they're, they're built the same, really. So hopefully you can take the techniques that we cover here and run with it and start um, creating other things. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and get a little closer and get started. So we have our two wires. I'm going to take the shorter one and I'm going to fold it in half. I put the ends together to find the center. And this is going to become um, the nose, head, and neck, and front legs. And then I'm going to um, twist the two wires together equally. Again, this is all in um, covered in more detail in a previous episode. So I go about three inches and this becomes head and neck for the goat. I set that down and I take my second wire and find the center. This time I just need to kind of indicate where the center is. And now I'm going to wrap the shoulders. So now I have two front legs, and this comes back and will become the back and the hind legs. And so I bring these wires together. I leave this um, bit of space here because that gives some width to the chest. And I wrap gently, you don't have to, you know, crank it really tight. Goats kind of have a little bump in their butt, so I go ahead and bend that into the armature. Now I'm going to bend the legs that give them a backwards bend for an elbow on each front leg. About a half an inch down, half to three quarters of an inch down on the shoulder, and then the hind legs get a forward bend for the um, their knee, and a sharper backward bend for their hock. And I do that on each side, soft forward bend, sharper backwards bend. Now I've got some kind of funky legs where this one's shorter than this one. Front legs are pretty good. Um, but it's no problem. I can trim this to even it up with my needle nose pliers. And I'm going to trim the front legs a little bit just to make all four legs even. And then another opportunity to even things up is when you bend the toes back. You always want to bend the end of the wire back so that you don't have a pointy end coming out of your of your needle felting. And I just grab the tip and fold it right back on itself. And you need pliers to do that. It's kind of hard to do without a tool. So you end up with um, this. I'm actually going to use this one. So the next thing we need to do 
is wrap it with pipe cleaner. And I have three. Um, one will do the front legs, one will do the hind legs, and one will do the um, head, neck, and body. So I fold the first one in half, and I set it over the, um, the shoulder or the base of the neck, behind the neck. And then each half is going to wrap down the front legs. And again, just wrap loosely. Um, it's okay if you see the aluminum wire. You don't have to wrap so tightly that you don't even see the aluminum wire. And then when you get to the end, make sure you have enough pipe cleaner to fold over that, that metal toe because that's going to um, make wrapping the very end a lot easier. This is a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it and fold it over that toe. I'm in, oh. Another thing to think about is the direction that you're wrapping the pipe cleaner. Make sure it's a comfortable direction because you're going to want to wrap the wool the same way so that you don't get bumps. Um, if you go against the pipe cleaner, you get bumps. The second piece, same thing, fold it in half, go down each back leg. fold over that toe. Now on the goat, they're small enough that I can use this pipe planer to create the tail. Um, but if you're doing a pony or a donkey, you may need two pipe planers, you know, one to do the head, neck, and body, and one to create um, sort of a skeletal armature for the tail. So I kind of try to estimate how much wire I'm going to need to get the head and neck. And then I leave this, let's see, I'm going to back it up a little bit. I leave this sticking out for the goat's tail, and again, I want to fold it over. And that might look a little long, but you uh, need to have the foresight to remember that it's going to get wool on it, um, which will, you know, probably come up to about here, like this one. Let me just go around the head, neck, and nose. Again, I want to be able to um, fold over the tip of that nose to make sure it's covered. So now we have our wire armature um, totally covered with pipe cleaner and ready to start wrapping. So the wrapping is going to take the goat to about this level. This is sort of where I would be um, before I start adding shapes to sculpt it. So here are some shapes that will go onto the goat. Let's see, this is probably a little more realistic. These are the um, egg shape, a little bit revised, but that if you watch that episode, you'll know how to make these, and these will go on to create a belly. This is the rectangle shape that will create a chest, and then I have all kinds of shapes um, for the face. Okay, so now we have our armature, and um, we're ready to begin wrapping. So the next video in this series we will wrap the armature and probably, hopefully, within 10 minutes or so, get to about the spot, at least in showing you guys um, the technique. Thanks.